Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm deep in Surrey, south of Godalming, deep in Surrey. The last time I was here was about 2009, and I'm in Hascombe. I'm not alone today. I'm not alone. I really run out of excuses trying to sort of think, oh, I can't meet up with you that day. I'm washing my hair, or I'm dyeing my hair. Oh, I've got work. Oh, I'm, you know. But I am with these lovely folk. Guess we've got Kevin, Cynthia, and Steve of Kevin's Rambles. Okay. I mean, Morning. you've seen all our videos from the walks that we do. <laughs> um, I'm so glad they've come along to be in my video. Um, we're going to walk up to St. Peter's Church. We are. Uh, we have got lunch at the the White Horse, which we're looking forward to. Uh, so yeah, join us. It's a lovely day. It's about, be about 21 degrees today, 22 Something degrees. Like that. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sun's sort of popping out, but it's blue sky. Yeah. yeah. Everyone happy? Yeah. Very happy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so we're walking up this lovely little road past these lovely houses where people have got way too much money. <laughs> oh, there's a car park for the pub there. Yeah. I mean, look at this little cottage here. Look at that. That's amazing. That's beautiful. That's got to be 1700 probably, 17th century. And of course, I'll link Kevin Ramble's YouTube video below, okay. which I'm sure most of you yeah. see my stuff will know it. Question for you. Oh, yeah. What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In between the, the oh, yeah. stone. What's that called? I don't know. I can't remember. What's it called? Because I'm, I'm stupid. Galatin. Gal oh, I've heard that word before. Yeah, Galatin. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that's what it, that's what it is. But they put the little pebbles mm -hmm. in the cement between the stone. It's usually stonework. They put it on. But uh, yeah, it's Galatin. All oh, right, since you guys obviously were originally were in the building industry. Yes, well, we've only learnt this since we started doing a video. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> Galatin, everyone, Galatin. Yeah. And this is actually Church Cottage. Oh, yeah, here we go. Lovely. Look at the castle. We bought, I actually did some notes, but actually what Steve's done has got the notes originally from your video from two right. years ago. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we got a little bit of um, info. Yeah. It's a broached steeple, you said to me. A broached steeple, and that's because of the shape of it. Right, okay, yeah. I'll just show you that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's um, a shingled um, tower and spire. I've, I've got to admit, I'm getting a little bit of butterflies at the minute. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll do that when we're going, because I'm going to... If, if Kevin's willing to share his experience. Yeah, I will. Yeah. He had a bit of an emotional time here. Twice. Twice. Yeah. We have, I think we might have mentioned it on video before. Yeah. But, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Not on the outside, no, there isn't really much. Um, it just says uh, the new church was built in the general style of the late 13th century church that was there previously. Which is, so the original church is 1220, 1220. they think, don't they? Yeah. Um, but it got into disrepair, so they, rather than doing it up, they demolished it and the Victorians built Built the what we have one. now. Because I've said in a recent video, I don't know if anyone agrees on this or not, I've been a bit harsh on the old Victorians with um, church restoration, but if we didn't have that restoration, they wouldn't probably be here now. No, no. quite possibly. Yeah. So, I've been a bit harsh on sorry Victorians, I don't know, you can't hear me, you're all dead. But, um, yeah. I think it is, looks like a you, yeah. yeah. But it's what? One, two, three, four, four that side, three that side. Love the way it's been shaped. Give me a blindery. That's not a coat here at all. Yeah. 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 Was it called Steve? Bargate Bar Stone. Bargate Stone. Okay. So Cor not something like Rygate Stone no. or no, no. Caution <laughs> Stone. Bar I've not heard oh, that one before. No, but it's local. And all this Gallatin will be original as well. Yeah. That's amazing. That's really nice, isn't it? We've never noticed that when we come over here before. That's really nice. <laughs> Says the massive mid-Victorian lock on the door was made to fit the ancient key uh, with which the rectors of Hascombe have had for centuries. Oh wow! So it must have been from the original church then. Must be, yeah. Must it? So was this completely rebuilt then? Yes. Right. So the, the, some of the, from the original 13th century church, nothing is this. No. 
No, um, no, I've got maybe the font, that's 1640. I was just going to say, I think that's, um, yeah, I've got some notes for inside mm, as well. Okay. So, yeah, you have a look inside, guys. Yeah, it's open. Oh, yeah, that's. Just going to find the last switch. St Peter's Church. I say I haven't been here since about 2009. Kevin's Rambles were here two years ago. Two years ago, yeah. And what's spectacular about this? I'm going to let Steve give us a bit of info in a minute. Um, is is the chancel? I mean, the artwork in this chancel is absolutely stunning. Yeah. I mean, look at that. In a little parish church, south of Godalming. Look at this. What have you got on this? It's, uh... Well, it's about the oak screen is about 500 years old. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I read that last night. Thought, and it was um, decorated in 1864. Beautiful, so mm. elaborate. That ceiling as well, mm. incredible. And one thing I thought was interesting in your previous videos that you mentioned that was um, the pulpit here is not made of wood, it's made of stone. So um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. As I always say. <laughs> but yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? You've got the Lady Chapel here. Which is lovely. It's really nice. We've got, yes, we've got people skimming their lawns outside because that's what they do. The east window and the Lancet window commemorate members of the Godman family whose family pew this originally oh, was. Oh, right, this one here. Now, if Kevin doesn't mind me sharing, when he was here before, twice, he had a bit of an emotional connection with something when he was working, so he, he's staying back a little bit. Well, I am torn a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit nervous, to be honest. Um, so was it around, sort of here? Yeah, it was. You want me to come forward? Yeah. yeah. You might not get in there, it might completely be nothing. Yeah. Let's just see. No, it's, I can feel it again. You can? Yeah. Uh, this wave of emotion. Oh, God. It is, yeah, it's quite... I've got to admit, I've got to admit, because I'm a sense of earth energy, that it is, there is a little bit strong here. It is a little bit strong. Um, I'm going to quickly get out my dowsing rods and just have a quick look. When Kevin's got a little bit emotional there, uh, we weren't really expecting that, so that's interesting. I'm just going to quickly douse this area, because um, I'm a dowser, I, I act douse for earth energies, you can douse for water, you can douse for many things. Let's just see if there is an energy current coming through. Right there, mm -hmm. yeah. I'll just see if which way it's flowing, using one rod. I hold my rod upside down, not many people do, it's just preference. Going through there, so there's something quite energetic right here. What it is, I think it's probably an earth energy current that goes through the church. I always wonder why churches, and I say it all the time in my videos, why things are built where they were, yeah. which I know you guys mentioned as well. But yeah. interesting, it's affecting Kevin. Mm. Interesting. But that's the third time in this church. Third time, yeah. Same place. Yeah. yeah. And it's, you're just saying it's not a positive emotion. No, I'm it? not saying it's. I'm not saying it's. It's evil or anything it's just the effect it has over me it's like it's washing over me washing over you yeah okay. from, literally from my head down and it's a it makes me feel really emotional i'm feeling it now even though i'm standing yeah. here but it's probably because of what happened to me just now of course but um it's the same spot every time that's three times now i've been in this church it's happened to me every time it could also be thank you it could also be uh, a fault line <coughs> that interacts with our electro electromagnetic field. Yeah. Um, it could be, I've got to say, it could be spirit. Yeah. You know, let's go down that route as well. There's quite a few different... But Mark, the, the amount of churches that we've been in... You don't get that, yeah. This is the only church that happens to me. Mm. And I don't know whether it's the, the magnitude of what the place is like, or whether there's a, 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 something going on, as you say, through the a mm. line. It's, it's just something here that that affects me every time. Yeah. And it's, it's stunning. Yeah. It's stunning. I mean, that is absolutely stunning, isn't it? I think it's just coincidence it happened to be a stunning church, yeah. But say, it, even before the 13th century church was here, 
I don't know what Steve's notes say, but there could have been an old Saxon yeah. chapel here. Yeah. It could have been Neolithic. We're in the Surrey Hills, there's so, so much Mesolithic and Neolithic sites around here, ancient springs. Yeah. Springs are um, very powerful uh, uh, energy, con um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, conduits. Yeah. So that could have a lot to do with it as well. Yeah. But as, as Kevin said, and I think it's a really valid point, you said, you know, you go in churches all the time. I do. But yeah, we don't, but yeah, really only here, yeah, it's only happened here. Only happens here. Um, and you weren't expecting it as well? Not well, the first time. The first time, not at all. No. I had to literally, in both occasions, yeah. I had to just walk straight walk out, out the yeah. I've had that occasion, so I know what you mean. You're walking somewhere and you're really not expecting it to yeah. go, what, in yeah, one yeah, place, yeah. almost knocked me over. Yeah. Like, where was that? I can't remember what it was. It was, uh, it's all my own videos, but it really almost knocked me over. But while we're here, we've got to just quickly shoot this because this is, I say, this is absolutely stunning. This look at that. What craftsmanship! I mean, look at those pipes. So that sounds really rude, doesn't it? Look at my pipes. That's amazing. But I do feel, even myself, I do feel a bit um, heady in here. And I don't mean headache. I don't get. I've never had a headache in my life. I'm very lucky, um, but it does feel a bit, bit heady, especially, say, around this area here that Kevin was talking about. Yeah. But the energy, you know, you said the energy line here, didn't feel it there at all. No. Only when I down. So that could be a stronger, yeah. a stronger part. Yeah. But when, you know, we were told about you take time out when you go to these places and you perhaps sit for five minutes or something like mm. that, you sit here and you look at all that up there. It's just incredible. I mean, Mr. Norris would like that. It reminds me of Berwick Church. It absolutely, it does. Yeah. yeah. On one of our favourite, probably one of our favourite walks we've ever done. Yes. Walk yeah. well, quite fast. Just walk straight through the energy signature. How's that? Yeah. Yeah. It's alright in here. Can you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Oof. It's alright in here. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm walking back through. <laughs> yeah. You need to come here. Yeah. There is a word for that, and I can't think what it's called. Going through from one from the wow from the, the ladies. Yeah. It is. Isn't that amazing. That's lovely. St Peter's Church in Haskham. post-resurrection miracle all caught in a net which is being dragged in by six disciples. Right, so that's 153. 153 so that would be from the Sea of Galilee, wouldn't it? Yeah. There's something special about that. I love this spiral staircase that you mentioned in your last video. Yeah. That you can go up. Something about this. Yeah. Walking up the spiral staircase up to the... Five, five bells up there. Five, five bells. Five bells, yeah. But yeah, it's actually dark here. I don't think we've seen much here because it's quite dark. I could have been in trouble. Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, oh dear, we, we can't get in. We wanted to have a quick look. And my water, my water fell out of my bag. Uh, so the actual font is 1640, isn't it? So it's, it's, well, it was given to the rector in 1690. Oh, 1690. Yeah. 1640 and mark. Perbeck yeah. marble. Yeah, right. Perbeck marble. Yeah. yeah. Perbeck marble. Oh, it's, it's engraving on there. 1690. Yeah. Holland. Holland. That's right. Yeah. Uh, the Richard Holland rector, 1690. Can you see that? It won't come out too long ago. Yeah. See if anyone made a comment about feeling anything. Oh, yeah. Well, no, not, not I doubt they put in the visitor book. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I had a moment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you, St Peter's Church, with your energy current. If it is an energy current or an energy. Yeah. A little bit heady. We got to obviously be psychosomatic as well. Do you like the Lady Chapel? It's very nice. And a big, 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 big Bible. Stunning church. So it's nice to be here. I say I haven't been here for about 15 years. I've always wanted to come back to Haskham. Surrey's still bringing up a lot of gems. A lot of gems. So 
start again. If it happened today, you don't think you're expecting it to happen. I put my water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I my water's gone. I'm gonna put it in here. I'm just gonna put in some pizza. <laughs> my, <laughs> my water's broke. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. St. Peter's Church in Hascombe. Okay, well, we picked up the dowsing energy coming through from the just by the chancel um, in the end of the nave. I'm just gonna see if I can pick up that line coming through the wall. Not saying I will, but if it is an energy current, we'll probably pick it up. I actually only need one rod for this, so let's move back a bit. The energy current coming from the church, coming out through the wall here. Coming out. Oh, very strong, yeah, very strong. Look at that. I want to come back this way. Show me where the energy current comes out from the church, please. Show me where the energy current comes out from the church. Yeah, I can feel a little bit of a tingle in there. Yeah. I'll use both. I can be close to the camera. That looks about right, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Yeah, because it actually will weave, weave like that, like a serpent, like I was saying yeah. earlier on. I'll do that once more. Yeah. Yeah. There it goes. Yeah. So that goes up into the Surrey Hills. Did you yeah. have another line that went through that way? Well, actually, I'll tell you what, I, if I went the other side of the church, I'd probably pick it pick where it, it comes in. Mm. Yeah. Still, again, doesn't explain why you got emotional. Yeah. But people do get very emotional, but then again, most churches have probably got energy currents going through them, but you've yeah, not yeah. experienced it anywhere else. That's yeah. what I find really interesting. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Thank you. What I'm thinking about also that uh, if that church wasn't here yeah. and you just came here anyway, you'd probably still get that same feeling yeah. without the church being there, yeah. even if it's just waste ground. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what would happen if I walked back in there on my own. <laughs> Don't know. Why don't you do it? I'll let you, you know, take the think, camera if you want. <laughs> you think? I don't know. It's just, in, it's just intrigued me. Whatever it is, it's nothing to be worried about. No, no, There's no. Nothing to be no, frightened about. No, nothing. No. We've decided, or I've decided, to come back into the church on my own. I've got Mark's camera, as you can see, and I'm going to approach the same spots again to see if anything comes over me again in, as I walk in. So I'm walking down the centre of the nave towards the rood screen and the chancel and I'm now approaching the spot I can definitely feel something standing here. I can feel this this emotion. I just don't know what it is. It's just I'm in the same spot every time. And let me just show you where my feet are. Just there. Look. I'm probably. Well, I've got to step back. I was probably three feet, three and a half feet from the rude screen. But now I've stepped back, I feel okay. So the line that Mark picked up outside would be going straight through that door there. And from the, out, from the ladies' chapel, it would be in line with the piscina there on that wall. So I'm gonna head out now and tell them what I've experienced. Or the hop heads will fit it. Oh, okay. I don't know what they are. I'm not sure. Walk back to front. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Kevin's rambles. <laughs> so a quick look around the village. There's a lovely uh, little pond here with some geese. It's very lovely. A lovely place to live, this is. Really is lovely. Very lucky the people who live here, but they've probably got lots of money. <laughs> that a lovely house there. The lovely uh, little dew pond here, or a big pond. Which I would—I don't know if it's artificial or not. Oh, look at the little duck! Hello, we're not going to come to you. No, we're not going to disturb you. We're not going to disturb you. Mm, lovely little pond. 
It's a glorious day today. It's about, I think it's going to be about 22, 23 degrees. Not as hot as last weekend. We were at the Basingstoke Comic Con, um, which was, I got burnt. <laughs> but uh, yeah, look at these. Oh, it's giving, it's giving Cynthia a bit of grief. Well, we're not hurting you. We're not here to hurt you. Just talking to you there, Cynthia. Sorry. Yeah, it's a warning sign, Cynthia. Be careful. <laughs> All right, calm down. <laughs> so there you go, a little video from St Peter's Church in Hascombe with yep. Kevin Dramble's group. Yep. How about that, joining me? And they're not even making a video. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Um, so if you enjoyed this little video, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff that we do on YouTube. Yeah. Hope you get a few more hits. Please subscribe to Kevin's channel as well. Yes, really, do. really good. Um, <laughs> and we'll see you on the next video with these tykes. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye.